Hey everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I'm going to be giving you another Magic's Vegas Pro 16 tutorial, and this time I'm going to show you how to use the audio envelopes to increase and decrease your volume automatically, and also pan your volume to where it comes out the left and right speakers. So let's get started. I dragged in a clip where me and my brother are playing so you hear each of our voices, and I'm going to make it to where my voice comes out the left speaker and his voice will come out the right speaker. And then I'm going to also change the volume in between us talking. So first things first, I'm going to show you the clip. Shut him down. Apparently not. Where did he get the kills? Down? Yeah, bottom lane. So there, you see each of us speak twice and then there's noise in between us talking. So to start it off, we're going to right click and then we're going to hit insert remove envelope. And first we're going to do is volume. This brings up a bar that's pretty much in the middle of your track. If this line is in the middle, it means your volume is normal. Like the composite tool, you can actually double click this and create keyframes. Or you can hold shift and draw keyframes of where you want this to be. And that's going to lower and raise your volume, depending on where your keyframes are put. So for my voice, shut them down. So right here to right there. There. So I put an anchor key point at the end of my voice and the beginning of my brother's voice. So I'm going to drag this bar itself down to nothing, infinite negative. And so everything in between these two key points right here gets taken down. Shut them down. Apparently not. And you see it's quiet in that gap right there. So I'm going to do that again with the end of his voice. And then right there, the beginning of mine, and right there. Drag it down. Where did he get the kills? Down? End of my voice. Next keyframe. Beginning of his voice. There we go. So I got anchor key points at the end and beginning of each time we speak. And then right here to finish it off. So this is what it sounds like after I've adjusted the audio. Shut him down. Apparently not. Where did he get the kills? Down? Yeah, bottom lane. There we go. And that's how you use audio envelopes to increase and decrease the volume using key points. So the next thing is I'm going to be doing panning. Panning means you can make sound come out of the left or right speaker and you could also automate this feature. So if we right click on the audio track and do insert remove envelope and we do pan, it brings up another line. If this line is in the center of your audio track, then that means that your volume is gonna be coming out the left and right speaker. Now if you change it, you could drag it down and it tells you a little percentage on the little hover part. It tells you how much percentage is gonna come out of that speakers. And now here we get to key points as well. So if I wanna do key point pretty close to the end of me talking and then to the beginning of the silence gap I can drag my voice to come out of the left speaker and if I do another key point here beginning of my brother's voice that's the anchor and then I do another key point down here do another key point at the end of his voice another in between another there another there key point here key point here another and another. So putting those key points there is going to help me put the volume where I want it to be. So I drag the pan, bring him to the right. Drag the pan, bring me to the left. Drag the pan, bring him to the right. Now we got me to the left and him to the right. Shut him down. Apparently not. Where did he get the kills? Down? Yeah, bottom lane. And that's how you automate the volume to come out of the left or right speaker and increase and decrease using the panning tool and the audio envelopes tool. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If that helped you out at all or if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.